so the topic uh, uh, i would keep it simple it is like tips and pearls uh, you know basic uh, knee arthroscopy here we'll consider the portals for arthroscopy um, i would be considering uh, uh, the antero lateral uh, antero medial okay we'll start now yeah so tips and pearls for uh, knee arthroscopy portals uh, first of all uh, this is a position in which uh, i do my uh, most of my knee arthroscopies uh it's supine position you can see uh, do we have a uh, this thing pointer um there's a there's a block uh, at 90 degrees and a lateral support a small modification here is that i also keep a small uh, uh, sm uh, one 1 liter bottle just under the tourniquet so that gives me a very good uh, position whenever i put the knee outside the table and i get a good 90 degrees position of the knee man thanks a lot so see this is this is something uh, we try to modify now we are slowly working on this modification uh, uh, further so this is how of the painting draping this is how the knee will look and the first step before st uh, starting any basic knee arthroscopy is a good skin marking um, i uh, we have to one should do it for all cases whatever you are doing knee uh, the skin marking is important you uh, i have marked the patella the patella tendon the, both the condyles this is the uh, tibial tuberosity on the medial aspect there is a femoral condyle the tibial condyle and the mcl marking the mcl is very important uh, whenever you are starting your knee arthroscopy so uh, the high anterolateral uh, portal uh, uh, the uh, i take a high anterolateral portal for all my knee arthroscopy so it is the position here as seen it is just inferior to the patella and uh, as as close to the patella tendon as possible this has very very uh, good advantages uh, in the, in the sense of yeah in the sense of viewing uh, viewing the uh, view of the knee and uh, reaching the different aspects of the knee so that's where the needle goes and that's uh, my uh, high uh, portal high anterolateral portal so this is a very nice paper i would advise all of you to uh, have a uh, go through this and a very nice he starts his paper by uh, quoting richard bach the girl sees farthest who flies highest so that's in his uh, very famous international novel jonathan livingston seagull that's how the paper starts uh they have put two three very important points and uh, the most important is that uh, one should be flexible where you put the portals there is no fixed protocol that the portal has to be here you should be ready to change your portals according to the needs according to the surgery you are planning and another they say the higher you go you get a more wider view okay the high portals give you more wider view and a panoramic view of the knee joint so these two are very very important points and uh, one needs to remember that so here is a demonstration this is a very low portal and as you see it is getting stuck in the fat pad this is a very very high uh, riding portal it will again have a, a negotiating around the knee would be difficult so standard high anterolateral portal this is should be the viewing point uh, viewing portal this is what i use and now we come to the antero medial portal the antero medial portal should be made by viewing uh, viewing the uh, knee from the anterolateral portal you have to see where you want to actually make the portal it will differ suppose i'm doing a posterior uh, horn for the meniscus uh, it will be more uh, it will be a inferior portal but if i'm doing an acl it will be slightly higher and medial portal so this has to be quite flexible according to the needs of the surgery right and another point to be marked here you just have a look at the uh, scalpel the scalpel the uh, cutting edge is pointing upwards because this will prevent any uh, damage to the meniscus suppose it is the other way around so you don't know where it is going so you might be might injure the meniscus the anterior horn of the meniscus so it's a very important point please keep that in mind so uh, that's a workhorse portal as i called it most of uh, you would be working through that portal uh be flexible try to change it as i told you the anteromedial portal can be changed according to the uh, surgery which you are doing and pre patella fat pad so i usually do a very uh, minor or partial shaving of the uh, fat pad so that this the access through the anteromedial portal has to be very very clear clean it should not get stuck up your thread should not get stuck up your instrument should not get stuck up 
so i think this is another uh, important point to be considered yeah now we come to the accessory uh, middle portal uh, this uh, this is uh, as a the marking this is the mcl uh, that's the antro middle portal so it is around 2 to 2.5 centimeters uh, medial but that is not fixed you should decide when you uh, do an arthroscopy i'll show you the arthroscopy uh, video again where you can see so what important point here is that you should not injure the mcl right so take a needle mark your point from inside where you have to make it and here uh, we make it uh, the knife should be held horizontal while making this portal because it is not the, the distance is quite less so you might injure the condyles uh, or the meniscus so here we have to hold the knife vertical here you have to make a uh, horizontal portal right i'll show you in the video and uh, i use this mainly to park my uh, threads when doing a uh, root repair and it it's you know it usually is an accessory portal it will help you a lot for uh, uh, using one or more instruments so that's how uh, we make it uh, that's the theory part you could all uh, read it again uh, so the patella the patel's mid patellar portal this is a very very uh, good uh, portal uh, we need to uh, learn about this and you see here uh, the portal is located just off the middle and lateral edge of the patella see this this black needle which you see that's the patel's portal right and what are the what's are what are its uses here if you see this is the uh, far middle portal this is the antro middle portal and this is a patel's portal Patel's portal usually uh, is used for viewing anterior compartment structures, right? And most important is to avoid crowding of your instruments whenever you are doing to, uh, because anterior as uh, with the antero uh, lateral portal, the anterior aspects of the menisci may not be very uh, clearly seen. So a patel's portal is always handy. You should know how to make a patel's portal and use it mo most of times. I use it whenever I'm uh, fixing an ACL avulsion with a screw. I usually use the Patel's portal for the uh, uh, wire, passing the wire and the screw also. Uh, we come to the uh, another portal as a central trans patellar tendon portal, a very, very nice portal. We have to learn how to make this portal. Yeah, it is, it is such a, uh, I, uh, what to say, mm, versatile portal. It can be used for most of the things. Whenever you're doing meniscus repairs, meniscectomy, using a double portal techniques. And uh, in fact, for ACLs, ACLs, avulsion, it should be made in 90 degrees of knee flexion because the tendon becomes taut just one centimeter below the uh, inferior aspect of the patella. Just make a vertical portal. And... Um, I, uh, I really recommend this portal uh, you, uh, try and get a habit of making it whenever it's possible, whenever you need it. And it's a very handy portal. Uh, that's what, so here, uh, uh, you see, this is what, uh, this is a uh, trans patellar tendon portal or the Gilkist, uh, Gilquist uh, portal. And some surgeons use that as a viewing portal also for uh, ACLs whenever they want to uh, for anatomical ACLs, they try and use this uh, many a times. So uh, we come to the last portal. Uh, we are not considering posto middle, posto lateral, or other uh, complicated portals here because it's a basic knee uh, workshop. So here, uh, uh, this is this is for the viewing the patellofemoral jo joint, right? And uh, we get the knee extension. So this marking the patella is actually here because I've extended it. The marking was done in uh, 90 degrees flexion. So this is a patella around 2 to 2.5 centimeters above and lateral. This is the superlateral portal. And that's, see, I'm, I'm making this portal and you see the needle coming in. That's the portal, right? So just, uh, I'm taking you through a small video. Uh, the credit goes to Kailas Jorule. He uh, was kind enough to uh, allow me to record this case. So just once. वीडियो ये चालू करो वीडियो सो या थैंक्स सो दैट्स वी स्टार्ट द व्यूइंग पोर्टल दैट्स द मेनिस्कस रूट टेर व्हिच वी हैव एंड दिस इज द फर्स्ट पोर्टल दैट्स द एंटरो मीडियल पोर्टल वी हैव डन सम शेविंग प्रोबेब्ली स्लाइटली एग्रेसिव सो दिस इज द नीडल दैट कम्स इन एंड 
see now it is easily reaching uh, the posterior uh, this thing posterior uh, root so that's the antero medial portal that's the first portal uh, i showed you the first working portal and now i'm making the far lateral portal this is where i'm going to park my sutures and you see i'm just above the meniscus right uh, anterior to the uh, anterior to the mcl and that's the triangulation these two are meeting here and see the needle uh, you see the knife knife is coming horizontal and with the cutting edge away from the mcl these are very small tips were very important so that you don't injure and i pass a switching stick uh, through the far uh, middle portal that's my uh, middle portal now and right so this is anteromedial that's far middle portal and now this is the transpatellar tendon portal i've uh, deliberately kept all of them inside just to show that where we are reaching with this portals here bang anterior anteromedial and this is medial so for different aspects you can use these different uh, portals and this is the patels portal see this so i'm showing you an introp uh, video of the patels portal and you see it's it's coming here and that it see now the axis so that's the medial portal this is the anteromedial portal you see that we can access here i can go behind and access the uh, posterior root that's a patels portal see it can easily access the anterior aspect if i put a scope inside i'll be able to see all this area very very clearly and that's the transpatellar tendon portal so in short these four portals will give you most of the work on the anterior aspect of the knee can be done through that and uh, other uh, portals like posterior middle posterior lateral portals are not part of this uh, talk today so i like to end my talk with a small uh, uh, take home message for all the youngsters so plan the portals surface marking is mandatory yeah every case every case you do uh, not just knee arthroscopy but any case you do there always has to be a skin marking be flexible with portal positioning depending upon the surgery be ready to modify your working portals there is no fixed rule you can modify them be willing to change the weaving portal swap during the course of surgery so many times for meniscal repair will make the uh, anteromedial portal as the viewing portal and work through the anterolateral portal so be ready for that right and uh, most important uh, for acl rs whenever you make the femoral entry point for the anatomic uh, acls you should always uh, put the scope through the uh, anteromedial portal and just see exactly where uh, you have made the uh, femoral entry point so uh, that is another important point and be ready to rectify and revise the portals there is no ego in that so i made a portal i may be wrong so just close it make another portal and the work has to go on right and finally the view should be panoramic and not too close for comfort right so try and make a habit so have a panoramic and a wider view and uh, that would give you a very good uh, experience and enjoyment for of doing an arthroscopy so i again thank all of you